Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the ninth episode of the mini-series review for the 2014 Formula 1 season review that I'm doing. Today on this episode we're going to be looking at Ferrari and analysing how they've got on so far this season. It's been um, a tricky start of the season for Ferrari, uh, not exactly what they were hoping for. Uh, they kept uh, Fernando Alonso on as their dri lead driver essentially for this season who's been with the team since 2010, and they brought back Kimi Raikkonen, who was at Lotus last season, but had driven for Ferrari before he went on his rallying break. Um, the car was already in set for Australia, and both cars were able to get a point to finish in 4th and 7th. It was one of those opening Grand Prix where no one knew what was going to happen, so Ferrari hadn't expected much. Um qualifying didn't ex didn't really exceed their expectations and even in Malaysia they struggled to get the results that again they were hoping for I mean Alonso got another fourth position which was the second one of the season but Raikkonen had a, a, a poor race he struggled throughout the whole weekend and only finished down in 12th and then in Bahrain which is where Stefano, I think the race after Stefano Domenicali had been sacked, you know, Alonso and Raikkonen finished ninth and 10th, which whether Stefano Domenicali was sacked because of that, we're, not, we're still not too sure, but some people in the paddock say that was the reason why they hadn't got the results that they were hoping for. But in China, a massive upturn in performance. I mean, Raikkonen didn't get the best results, but Alonso finished third, and he was the Ferrari was probably the second quickest car that weekend, which is a surprise. I mean, Marco Mattiacci had just been promoted or elected as the uh, new uh, head uh, race chief, uh, essentially taken over from what the Malakali had had, and people thought well, maybe this is a chance for Ferrari to get their own, make their way back into the field, but. It hasn't really proved that case. I mean, Alonso and Raikkonen in, in Spain, the race after came sixth and seventh, and they were quite equally matched all weekend. It was the closest Raikkonen had come to Alonso for quite some time, or well, since the start of his tenure at Ferrari again. And afterward, in, in Monaco, Raikkonen had a poor race, and he ended up finishing 12th. He got into all sorts of problems. Fernando Alonso, though, again getting another fourth position, which seemed to be quite a consist consistency. Canada at the next race wasn't a strong race for the Ferrari powered en engine cars. Um, apart from the two Ferraris, only one other Ferrari powered car finished the race. Uh, plus the fact that the Ferrari and the Renault engines are all down on power, so Alonso managed to best sick out of the whole situation. And Viking came 10th, but he had again had problems all the way through the race. Just the car not responding to the way he wants it. Austria though, it, 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 Austria this season really Ferrari, uh, they've I've relied on Alonso a lot, he finished 5th at, at Austria and Raikkonen was 10th again but Alonso really showing that there is a good chance that he probably is the best driver on the grid, arguably. I mean in Silverstone he had that titanic battle with Vettel, uh, overtaking, just being able to defend against the, the Red Bull. Uh, Raikkonen obviously crashed out of that Grand Prix, massive crash, and we were all hoping he was okay, and sure enough he was, but that was the first proper driver error that caused him to finish, uh, finish not finish a race all season, and Alonso had to hold up the Italian flag for the Ferrari fans once again, and could only finish sixth. Germany, fifth place again for Alonso, he's always able to finish in that top, top six, places Raikkonen was outside of the top 10 just couldn't couldn't get to grips with the car at all but in Hungary a, a big in the most recent race a big up and turn in performance for Ferrari this at last at the last race Alonso finished second and could have easily won that Grand Prix he weren't far off I think there was only two, three laps to go and he got overtaken by Ricardo at the end sadly and Alonso came second, and Raikkonen had his best race today, finishing sixth after starting all the way down in 16th. Brilliant performance from Raikkonen to get all the way back up to the field, and he was 
on a par with Alonso all weekend, apart from the problems he had. I think for this season, it's going to be quite hard for Ferrari to to get a win. I mean, I can if, if Ferrari is Raikkonen and can sort of keep up the performance level that he had in Hungary throughout the rest of the season, I can see him in. Alonso battling again all the way through the year like he did in Spain, but if he if he can't pick up that performance, Raikkonen's going to really struggle. People have claimed that it's down to his driving style that and this, the fact that the car suited more towards Alonso that he's not being able to get the best out of the Ferrari F14T. Others have said that he's just he's just lack of motivation. Personally, I stand towards. Raikkonen, his driving style is a lot more aggressive than Alonso, and Alonso is much more, much more refined in that sense. Um, but I do believe that Alonso could is probably the best driver on the grid. I mean, I'm not, I wouldn't say that he's the fastest driver on the grid. Definitely not, but he 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 is definitely the the best over a race distance. I mean, that performance in Hungary on that tyre strategy and. The fact that he was actually put behind because of the safety car, he had problems because of that. that. That safety car really messed up his whole strategy and he was still able to drag second place out of that and was able to hold behind the two Mercedes cars towards the end, which was equally impressive. But I think this year Ferrari, they, 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 they will get more podiums, but it's going to be down to luck, really, if they can win that. And the Tifosi, I know won't be particularly happy with that but sadly that's the reality that Ferrari is stuck in at the minute but hopefully hopefully with Raikkonen and Alonso they'll be able to get some good results later this season